Did you ever wonder how a printer ribbon with only a few colored panels can print a full color picture? And while we're at it, did you ever wonder why your black barcode that looks correct won't read in your time clocks or readers? Well, I'm not Andy Rooney, but I am Mike Clemens with Identicard, and today we're going to answer those questions and more. A PVC printer uses two technologies to put color on your card dye sublimation, and thermal transfer. Most printer ribbons have three colored panels made up of the primary colors, yellow, magenta, and cyan. By mixing and infusing these colors into the surface of the card, all colors of the rainbow can be seen lifelike photographs and images. Even black, well, almost black, and not very sharp either. If your time clock or access control reader has an infrared reader, this barcode will be invisible to it and won't read. That's because it doesn't contain carbon, which these readers are looking for. That's where the black panel, also known as a resin black or K panel, comes in. Black from this panel is transferred to the card using thermal transfer technology, which produces crisp, clear text and barcodes with carbon for all barcode readers, including infrared. But the sharp, clear contrast that makes it so good for text and barcodes isn't smooth or soft enough to make it good for photos. That's why most PVC printer drivers have settings that are smart enough to keep it out of photographs, but use it for text and barcodes. Some ribbons have 2K panels, with the second one just for printing black on the back of the card. Ribbons can also include special panels for security printing. Monochrome ribbons have no panels, but are one continuous strip of color, usually black, but also available in other colors like silver and gold metallic. A common problem we often hear is, my barcode won't read. First, check to see if the barcode looks right. You don't want it too scrunched up, and it should be clear. Next, you need to know if you have an infrared reader or not. Generally speaking, visible light readers emit a red light. Point of sale and handheld scanners are visible light. Infrared readers are usually used on time clocks and access control applications. You won't see any light coming from them, and they need a barcode printed out of the K black panel. Since composite black made up of YMC colors look very similar to the K black, the only sure way to tell is to take out the ribbon and unwind it from the take-up spool and verify that the barcode and text came out of the K panel. What you're seeing here is a card that I printed and also a section of the ribbon that I took out and mounted on a whiteboard for you to see. This card contains a full color photograph the three primary colors, and some black text, and a barcode. Now this is important for you to know. The text, even though it looks black to you, the top one is K black, the bottom one is composite black made out of YMC. The barcode should come out of the black panel. In this ribbon, because my settings were correct, it did. When I look at the black panel, I see the barcode. Notice that I see one line of text that says K panel black, K black. I don't see the line that says YMC black. That's because this line was made up of the three colored panels and it didn't come out of the black panel. This is the correct setting and the correct ribbon response that you should get for your cards. Notice that no black around the lady's hair came out of the black panel. In this example I've printed the same card but I've used incorrect driver settings. In this case too much came out of the black panel. Notice the black around the photograph. Since the lady has dark hair, almost black, it used black out of the K panel. That's not very pleasing when you look at the photo. In this next example, not enough came out of the black panel. In fact, nothing did. Notice the barcode looks black to you, 
but it didn't print from the K panel. That means your time clock or access control reader probably won't see it. Well, now you know how color gets from the ribbon to the card. Oh, another thing. As you saw in the ribbon example, you can easily read what's been printed on the cards by simply unrolling the ribbon. Please destroy your ribbon securely, especially if you are printing sensitive data. And the last tip before I'm gone, please keep your printer in good condition by cleaning it regularly. Most manufacturers recommend cleaning after every 1,000 cards. And if your ribbon comes with a new sticky roller, be sure to use it when you put in the new ribbon. The print head in your printer is very fragile and can be damaged by dirt. Never touch it with your fingers or bump it with your watcher ring. Always keep your cards clean and safe. Well, that wraps up Printer Ribbons 101. Congratulations, you passed with flying colors. We at Identicard are dedicated to helping you get the best out of your security identification program. Please don't hesitate to call us at 1-800-233-0298 or visit us on the web at www.identicard.com. From the whole Identicard team, thanks for watching.